dangerous emergency helicopters and planes landing on a 17-story high-rise building collapse in Tehran, Iran. These catastrophes leave us feeling vulnerable and uncertain about the future. It also reminds us of the impermanence of life and the importance of cherishing each moment. Watch till the end and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Let's get it on! Hoyk is a town located in the Scottish Borders region of Scotland. It's situated along the River Teviot, approximately 10 miles south of the Scottish-English border. Three years ago, after many heavy rain days, the riverbanks were quickly engulfed and the water level rose ominously, lapping at the very foundations of the bridge house. As the river's fury intensified, the foundations weakened and cracks formed along the walls. Suddenly, with a deafening crash, a section of the house gave way, collapsing into the unforgiving river below. Dust and debris filled the air as the river greedily claimed its new territory. Dawlish is a small seaside town located on the south coast of Devon, England. It's situated about 12 miles south of the city of Exeter and it overlooks the English Channel. The geography of Dawlish is characterized by its coastal setting and scenic landscapes. In 2014, an unlucky event in Dawlish, England, a section of the seawall that supports the coastal railway line collapsed, plunging the town into a state of emergency. The incident occurred during a fierce storm that relentlessly battered the coast, bringing high tides and powerful waves crashing against the already vulnerable structure. The collapse of the seawall had immediate and devastating consequences for the coastal railway line that ran atop it. The ground beneath the tracks gave way, causing the rails to buckle and fall into the churning waters below. Train services were suspended, cutting off a vital transportation link for both commuters and visitors. As you know, in emergency situations, helicopter and plane landings can become perilous endeavors. Pilots often encounter challenging terrains, turbulent weather, and time constraints, making precision and quick thinking essential. Landing on uneven surfaces, cramped spaces, or in adverse conditions increases the risk of accidents. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and comment what do you think of these catastrophic damages. You're watching heavy machinery working at construction sites. However, sometimes heavy machinery control failure can have catastrophic consequences, leading to accidents, injuries, and even loss of life. When essential systems like brakes, hydraulics, or steering malfunction, operators lose the ability to maneuver these powerful machines safely. The sheer weight and force of such equipment amplifies the risk besides their big strength. The terrible moment of a bridge collapse in Turkey. Tehran, the capital city of Iran, is situated in the north-central part of the country and serves as its administrative center. It lies approximately 43 miles south of the Caspian Sea and about 75 miles west of the country's border with Afghanistan. The Plasco Tower was a prominent landmark in Iran's capital city, Tehran. It was a 17-story high-rise building located on Jamuri Avenue, one of the city's major streets. The Plasco building held historical significance as one of Tehran's first modern commercial structures, having been constructed in the early 1960s. Its central location made it a hub for business activity and a popular destination for shoppers and visitors alike. 
On January 19, 2017, tragedy struck when a severe fire broke out on the upper floors of the Plasco building. The fire rapidly spread, engulfing the entire structure in flames. Despite the efforts of firefighters, the intensity of the fire and structural damage proved insurmountable. Regrettably, the Plasco building collapsed after several hours, leaving behind a scene of devastation. In eastern Massachusetts, Triton Technologies employees heard cracking and metal bending and escaped before their building collapsed under the weight of heavy snow. Everyone got out safely. Aerial footage shows the extent of the damage caused by record snowfall across the eastern U.S. Roofs collapsed under the weight of the blanket of snow in Maryland and Pennsylvania. Millions of people have been affected by the snow after up to 42 inches of it fell. Two houses collapsed, sliding down a hill in Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. The homes were in danger due to shifting ground and breaks from their foundations. Occupants were ordered to evacuate. Massachusetts, a state located in the New England region of the northeastern United States, the eastern part of Massachusetts is home to numerous picturesque beaches, harbors, and scenic coastal towns. Massachusetts is home to numerous churches spread across its cities. Last month, the Massachusetts church that opened in 1743 caught on fire after being struck by lightning and collapsed in on itself. It's an ordinary day. When the townspeople went about their daily routines, a powerful thunderstorm loomed on the horizon. Suddenly a bolt of lightning, like a fiery javelin, collided with the towering spire of St. Peter's. The impact sent the sparks cascading down onto the church roof, igniting a blaze that spread rapidly throughout the structure. Panic and despair gripped the hearts of those who witnessed this catastrophic event. As the flames ferociously consumed the wooden beams and intricate craftsmanship that held the church together, this event forever etched itself into the annals of Massachusetts history, leaving behind a somber reminder of the power of nature. Do not forget to press a button of like, subscribe, and comment what do you think of these catastrophic damages. T-34 
Tijuana is situated in the state of Baja, California, located in northwestern Mexico. It is a bustling border city known for its vibrant culture, diverse population, and proximity to the United States. Last April, a building collapsed in Tijuana, Mexico after several landslides. You know, the region around Tijuana is characterized by its hilly terrain and can be susceptible to landslides during periods of heavy rain. The building in question was situated on a slope, and the mounting pressure from the saturated soil began to take its toll. With a deafening roar, the structure collapsed in on itself, sending plumes of dust and debris into the air. The scene was one of devastation, and walls crumbled, floors collapsed, and the entire edifice became a pile of rubble. Another massive sinkhole forms near Tijuana Roadway. Repairs could take four months. Last five years, a major landslide in Tijuana, Lomos del Ruby, neighborhood has displaced dozens of families from their hillside homes. There are 89 structures that were damaged and 51 families lost their houses. Many houses tore from their foundations and down the hillside. The U.S. Forest Service warned hikers in May that the caves were in their most dangerous state due to unseasonably warm weather. However, many people still ignored it, bringing more work to the local rescuers. Cave collapse is one dangerous catastrophic failure, although it is not popular. We should be careful as choosing our activities. Meanwhile, a mountain glacier in the Patagonia region of Chile collapsed after periods of heavy rains and intense heat. The Berlin Hotel Complex is situated in the vibrant and historical significant city of Berlin, the capital of Germany. Located in the northeastern part of the country, Berlin is nestled within the state of Berlin and serves as a major cultural, political, and economic hub. Last year, a giant aquarium containing around 1,500 tropical fish burst inside a Berlin Hotel Complex on Friday, flooding the lobby and nearby street. The giant aquarium, a true feat of engineering and design, spanned multiple floors of the hotel complex. Its transparent walls stretching from floor to ceiling offered visitors an immersive experience as they were surrounded by a vibrant tapestry of coral reefs, swaying seaweed, and kaleidoscope of tropical fish. This living artwork captured the essence of the ocean, inviting guests to marvel at its natural beauty within the confines of the hotel walls. Guests said they were woken by a loud bang as the world's largest freestanding cylindrical aquarium shattered, leaving marine life flowing through the hotel entrance and out onto the freezing cold streets in the busy Mite district. A million liters of water and all the fish inside spilled onto the ground floor, transforming corridors and public spaces into a surreal underwater realm. Startling guests and hotel staff found themselves caught in the midst of this unexpected aquatic invasion. In November 2018, a catastrophic event unfolded in the Pacific Ocean when the cargo ship named One Apis encountered a powerful storm that led to the loss of more than 1,800 containers.
As the ship battled against the raging elements, the heavy swells caused the vessel to roll and pitch violently, resulting in the dramatic loss of a significant portion of its cargo. The containers, stacked on the ship's deck, were dislodged and swept overboard, scattering their contents across the ocean. Looks like a nightmare to pull the remaining containers back to normal position. Salvage operations and extensive cleanup efforts were subsequently initiated to recover the sunken containers and mitigate any environmental damage caused by the incident. The one Apis container ship disaster serves as a stark reminder of the immense power of nature and the inherent risks associated with maritime shipping in extreme weather conditions. Last year, in the heart of Rome, a bustling bus depot that fell victim to a devastating fire, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake as at least 30 buses burned in fire at a Roman bus depot, Italy. It was a fateful night. Thick plumes of smoke billowed into the air as the fire rapidly spread, fueled by the combustible materials within the facility. The crackling of burning vehicles in the acrid scent of smoke filled the air, creating an atmosphere of despair. This devastating incident shows the importance of preparedness in safeguarding essential transportation infrastructure. Manhattan is an iconic borough of New York City, known for its towering skyscrapers, bustling streets, and vibrant cultural scene. Located at the heart of the city, Manhattan is bordered by the Hudson River to the west and the East River to the east. On April this year, a parking garage experienced a sudden and devastating collapse in Lower Manhattan. The parking garage, situated amidst the vibrant urban landscape, stood as a multi-level structure accommodating hundreds of vehicles. Its concrete and steel framework had long served as a convenient hub for commuters, residents and visitors seeking to navigate the busy streets of Lower Manhattan. However, on this fateful day, its structural integrity was tested to the extreme. Now all were crumbling concrete, and crashing debris filled the air. Many cars and some people were trapped inside, were waiting support from outside. The incident became a sobering reminder of the fragility of urban infrastructure and the potential consequences. The East Village is a neighborhood located in the eastern part of Manhattan, New York City. It's known for its vibrant and diverse atmosphere, rich history, and cultural significance. The tragedy struck when a building collapsed in the heart of a heavily traveled section in 2015. The building in question, located on a busy intersection, had been a long-standing fixture of the neighborhood, housing a mix of residential apartments and ground-level businesses that contributed to the vibrant local scene. Reports indicated that a gas explosion triggered by a utility-related issue, ignited a devastating fire within the building's infrastructure. As the flames raged unchecked, they weakened the structural integrity of the edifice, setting the stage for the eventual collapse. Thick plumes of smoke billowed into the sky, creating a scene of chaos and confusion. Brooklyn is the most populous borough in New York City, with a land area of approximately 70 square miles. It's the second largest borough in terms of land area after Queens. In 2015, a building collapse had also occurred in Brooklyn. You can see many bricks tumble to the sidewalk in Brooklyn's roof collapse. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and comment. What do you think of these catastrophic disasters?
Operating heavy equipment like this can be a daunting task. Unfortunately, there are instances when failures occur, causing interruptions and setbacks in the work process. You know, these failures arise from various sources, including mechanical malfunctions, operator errors, or external factors. Mechanical issues such as engine failures or hydraulic system breakdowns requiring immediate repairs and causing costly delays. Operator errors such as misjudging the terrain or mishandling controls can lead to accidents and damage to equipment. Moreover, adverse weather conditions also pose additional challenges, making it more difficult to operate heavy machinery safely and efficiently. Regular maintenance and inspections are very vital to identify and address potential issues before they escalate into major failures. Valparaiso is a vibrant and historic port city located on the central coast of Chile. The city is home to one of Chile's most important seaports. The port of Valparaiso serves as a major hub for international trade, connecting Chile to various parts of the world. It plays a crucial role in the country's economy and serves as a gateway for imports and exports. In 2019, an unfortunate incident unfolded as a towering crane succumbed to the forces of gravity, resulting in a devastating collapse. A series of ominous creaks and groans reverberated through the air as the crane's structural integrity was compromised. The ground shook as the colossal machine swayed precariously, unable to withstand the weight it once effortlessly hoisted. With a thunderous crash, the crane buckled under its own weight, toppling to the ground in a chaotic spectacle of metal and debris. The incident served as a stark reminder of ensuring the stability and reliability of these massive lifting machines. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and comment what do you think of these catastrophic damages. truck gets lifted as a container is picked up at a container terminal. As can be seen, the lock securing the container to the trailer on the back right isn't released before the crane starts lifting the container. And this is the result. Germany is situated in the heart of Europe, bordered by nine other countries. In July 2021, Germany experienced severe flooding that showed catastrophic failures from German modern government and the strength from Mother Nature. Climate change has led to more extreme weather events, including heavy rainfall, overwhelming drainage systems and causing rivers to overflow their banks. Some of the flooding failures in Germany attributed to inadequate infrastructure. Aging drainage systems, insufficient flood protection measures, and urban development in flood-prone areas have contributed to the severity of the floods. There were criticisms of the effectiveness of warning systems and emergency response coordination. Some residents reported a lack of timely and accurate information about the severity of the flooding, which hindered their ability to evacuate or take necessary precautions. Many buildings, including houses and cars, were swept away or severely damaged by the force of the water, causing substantial economic and emotional distress. Oh, boy.
San Francisco is situated on a narrow peninsula surrounded by the Pacific Ocean to the west and the San Francisco Bay to the east. It's located in the northern part of California, US. Recently, one vehicle and several windows are damaged after an underground vault fire erupted from a manhole at Pacific Heights in San Francisco on a Saturday night. So, surprise! A deep rumble echoed through the serene streets as billowing clouds of smoke and flame burst forth from the underground vault. The flames licked at the surrounding pavement, leaving black scorch marks as evidence of their destructive path. In fact, fires that erupt from manholes can occur in various urban areas, and are typically caused by a combination of factors, including electrical malfunctions, gas leaks, or other hazardous conditions. It's important to note that manhole fires are hazardous events, and if you encounter one, it's crucial to keep a safe distance as this man, probably report it to emergency services or the appropriate utility company. Anderson University is situated in Madison County in the central part of Indiana. It's approximately 45 miles northeast of the state capital, Indianapolis. The campus is nestled within the city of Anderson, offering a blend of urban convenience and a campus atmosphere. June 2016, after two days of removing branches and limbs from a damaged 100-year-old oak on the campus of Anderson University, a large chunk of the tree pulled down a 70-ton crane. As the crane's powerful grip closed around the designated section of the tree, a sense of anticipation filled the air. As the tree began to succumb to the force applied by the crane, a startling cracking sound reverberated through the tranquil surroundings. Suddenly, the tree's weight shifted, unleashing a tremendous counterforce that the crane's stability struggled to contend with. With an earth-shattering crash, the 70-ton crane toppled under the immense strain. The ground quivered as the colossal machinery collided with the earth, its descent echoing through the area. The fallen crane lay amidst the debris, an imposing reminder of the power of nature and the delicate balance between man and the elements. In fact, there are many bad crane accidents. Cranes are the backbone of construction projects, so why do so many of them fall down? Because they are so pervasive and they do such a dangerous job of lifting massive objects high into the air, occasionally cranes fail. Strict adherence to safety protocols, regular equipment inspections, comprehensive operator training, and ongoing monitoring are crucial in ensuring crane operations are conducted safely. Oh my God, dropping a big machine like this in such an environment, huh, dropping any load isn't good. This is a video of an excavator crane lift failure in London, UK, but luckily, thank God, no one was hurt. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and comment what do you think of these catastrophic damages.
Jiangxi Province is located in southeastern China. It's home to Poyang Lake, the largest freshwater lake in China and one of the largest in Asia. Jiangxi is located in the eastern part of central China. In 2018, on a fateful Thursday, a bustling construction site in Jiangxi Province was abruptly transformed into a scene of chaos and devastation. A platform at a power plant under construction collapsed, leading to significant consequences. Amidst the hum of machinery and the determined work of construction crews, a platform within the power plant structure gave way, causing a catastrophic collapse. Dust filled the air, obscuring visibility and adding an eerie atmosphere to the already grim scene. The sound of metal bending and concrete crumbling filled the air, mingling with the startled cries of workers caught in the chaos. The incident served as a somber chapter in the region's history, evoking a renewed commitment to ensuring the well-being of those who contribute to building the infrastructure of tomorrow. bustling production factory. An unforeseen catastrophe unfolded with an overhead crane. High above the factory floor, the overhead crane was suspended from sturdy steel beams. It offered a sense of stability and control. However, on this fateful day, the illusion of security was suddenly shattered as a forklift from somewhere rushed over. Maybe every day it still rushes into this area at the same speed and no problem. So crazy. With a thunderous crash, the overhead crane came crashing down, its metal components splintering and shattering upon impact. Equipment lay twisted and mangled and tangled in the wreckage. Fragments of concrete and steel littered the floor, a stark reminder of the immense forces at play. The once orderly and bustling workplace transformed into a scene of disarray and danger. Look over the scene where a scaffolding has collapsed on a building under construction. This is Highland and Leyland in Hollywood. In a devastating turn of events, an Amazon warehouse bustling with activity became the epicenter of chaos and destruction as a powerful tornado tore through the area, causing the roof to collapse. Oxfordshire is a county located in the southeast region of England, the United Kingdom. It's known for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and prestigious educational institutions. The county's centerpiece is the city of Oxford. The city has a history dating back over a thousand years. Three cooling towers at Didcot Power Station in Oxfordshire, Britain, were demolished in an explosion. Sunday, August 18th, 2019, with thousands of homes left with no electricity shortly after. The explosion shot out burning sparks, which caught a nearby electricity pole on fire and also appeared to have damaged a car. 40,000 customers who had faced outages following the demolition. Events. A 
ceiling collapse sent debris cascading down into an escalator in China, causing panic and chaos among those present. The incident, which occurred with sudden and unexpected force, unleashed a scene of confusion and concern. Morabin is a suburb located in the southeastern part of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Situated approximately 15 kilometers southeast of Melbourne's central business district. April this year, a factory in Ferno has ripped through a caravan warehouse in Morabin, leaving destruction in its wake. The blaze, which erupted with fierce intensity, tore through the factory, sending towering plumes of smoke billowing into the sky. The incident has not only caused extensive damage to the warehouse, but has also raised concerns regarding the release of toxic fumes, prompting a dire warning for the southeastern suburbs. The sheer ferocity of the fire consumed the structure, leaving behind a scene of charred wreckage and smoldering debris. Thick, acrid smoke engulfed all over the neighborhood. The combination of burning caravans and various materials present in the warehouse unleashed a toxic plume, sending hazardous particles into the air. The permeating odor of burnt chemicals hung heavily, prompting authorities to issue a warning to residents about potential health risks. Crestline is a charming mountain community located in the San Bernardino Mountains of Southern California, United States. It's situated in the midst of the beautiful San Bernardino National Forest, which provides a picturesque backdrop of towering pine and cedar trees. Nestled at an elevation of approximately 4,700 feet, it offers a scenic retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. The entire roof of a Crestline California grocery store collapsed under the weight of snow. Fortunately, no one was inside the store when the roof caved in at dawn on March 1st, 2023. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment what do you think of these catastrophic fails. In a tragic turn of events, a massive fire ravaged a building in New Jersey, leading to its catastrophic collapse in 2020. Thick plumes of black smoke billowed high into the air, blotting out the sun and creating an atmosphere of chaos and distress. The fire's ferocity proved overwhelming, rendering firefighters and emergency responders at the scene with an immense challenge. The one standing structure now lay in ruins, reduced to a pile of debris and rubble. Dramatic video captured the moment of a series of ice structures collapsing, creating a huge wave. First, the towering columns of ice swayed precariously before succumbing to the forces of gravity. They crashed down, shattering into countless shards upon impact, sending a shower of ice particles into the air. The ground trembled violently as the collapsing structures triggered a chain reaction, causing nearby ice formations to crumble as well. to be alive right now. Heavy rains collapsed a bridge in Kangra in India's northern state of Himachal Pradesh on August 20th, 2022. The collapse of the bridge sent shockwaves through the region, leaving a community in disarray. The severed connection disrupted vital transportation routes, isolating communities.
Pacifica is a picturesque city located along the rugged coastline of Northern California, known for its stunning ocean views and proximity to the Pacific Ocean. However, the area's natural beauty also poses risks, as demonstrated by the coastal cliff collapse incident in 2016. The heavy rains that battered the region led to heightened erosion and instability of the cliffs that lined the coastline. The combination of saturated soil and powerful wave action took a toll on the cliffs, causing a significant section to give way. This sudden collapse resulted in a cascade of debris and soil sliding down toward the beach below. The evacuation process was a stressful and disruptive experience for the residents of Pacifica. They had to quickly gather their belongings and seek temporary shelter. Belvedere is situated in Boone County, approximately 70 miles northwest of Chicago, U.S. It's nestled in the Rock River Valley, surrounded by rolling hills and fertile farmland. In April 2023, the late hours of a Friday evening, a concert at the iconic Apollo Theater in Belvedere, Illinois, took an unexpected turn as severe weather descended upon the area. A calamitous combination of wind and rain led to the collapse of the roof and marquee, turning the vibrant concert venue into a scene of chaos and destruction. Like this, the roof and marquee collapsed under the sheer force of the elements, showering debris across the theater grounds. The scene that unfolded was one of chaos and confusion. Emergency sirens wailed through the air as rescue teams raced against time, battling adverse weather conditions to reach those trapped amidst the wreckage. forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment. What do you think of these catastrophic damages? Genoa is situated on the Ligurian Sea, part of the Mediterranean Sea and is the capital city of the Liguria region. Genoa is known for its large port, which has been a vital hub for maritime trade and commerce for centuries. 14th of August 2018, a bridge in the Italian city of Genoa partially collapsed during a sudden and violent storm on Tuesday, leaving vehicles crushed in the rubble below. As the storm intensified, the bridge's supports weakened, strained by the weight of strong winds and the relentless force of the elements. Finally, with an ominous crack and a cloud of dust, the bridge succumbed to the storm's wrath, crumbling into pieces and plummeting into the valley below. The collapse of the bridge in Italy after the violent storm stands as a tragic testament to the unpredictable power of nature. For some residents, this was the worst kind of tragedy, because they said government can have more action for enhanced preparedness, infrastructure investment, and effective disaster management to safeguard lives and prevent such catastrophes. Lagos, the largest city in Nigeria and one of the fastest growing cities in Africa. Lagos is located in the southwestern corner of Nigeria, bordering the Gulf of Guinea to the south. It covers an area of approximately 452 square miles, making it a compact but densely populated city. As part of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the Otodola Bridge serves as a vital transportation link between Lagos and other parts of Nigeria, particularly the southwestern region. It facilitates the movement of people, goods and services, making it a crucial economic corridor.
June 2018, a fuel-laden tanker has exploded along the Otadola Bridge axis of Berger in Lagos, with the blaze engulfing at least 30 other vehicles. The tanker was heading out of Lagos toward the lagos Ibadan Expressway when the crash occurred, causing panic and fear. The fiery inferno rapidly consumed the tanker, sending thick plumes of black smoke billowing into the sky and casting a shadow of dread over the surrounding area. The intense heat radiated from the flames, warping the metal structures nearby and turning them into twisted remnants of their former selves. The Czech Republic, located in Central Europe, is a landlocked country with a diverse geography that encompasses various landscapes. Its capital is Praha. In 2017, a terrifying incident unfolded as a gym roof unexpectedly collapsed during a game, creating a scene of chaos and panic. Debris rained down from above as the weight of the collapsing roof overpowered the structure's integrity. The thunderous noise reverberated through the venue, drowning out the sounds of cheers and competitive spirits, replaced by cries of alarm and shouts for help. Dust and fragments filled the air, momentarily obscuring the vision of those caught in the chaos. Luckily, it's enough space to escape for all here, and no one was injured. Bless them. This is considered one of the catastrophic failures in the construction industry, and only to be clarified after the 2008 Sichuan earthquake, where 20,000 of the almost 70,000 victims were schoolchildren who died in collapsed school buildings, which were later proven to be hastily and shoddily built. From the bustling cities to the quaint coastal towns, every corner of Florida bore witness to Ian's fury, turning familiar landscapes into scenes of devastation. Accompanying the howling winds, torrential rain engulfed the landscape. As the heavens opened, Florida became a watery maze, with streets turning into rivers and neighborhoods transformed into temporary lakes. Electrical poles toppled, their wires entangled like twisted tendrils. Essential services, communication networks, and transportation infrastructure suffered damage. Cars became giant ruins. Press the like button, subscribe, and comment. What do you think of these catastrophic damages? A powerful storm has dumped mounds of snow across the upper Midwest closing highways, cancelling flights, and collapsing the roof of the Minnesota Viking Stadium. A vessel bound for the Titanic wreckage experienced a catastrophic implosion last month. As the vessel sailed closer to the site of the iconic Titanic wreck, with an earth-shattering force, the vessel imploded, collapsing upon itself like a crumbling edifice. The deafening sound of metal tearing and crumbling echoed through the ocean as the vessel succumbed to the immense pressure of the deep. The tragic implosion of the vessel serves as a haunting reminder of the immense power and unforgiving nature of the deep sea. When a ship, whether it be a cargo vessel, a passenger liner, or any other type of maritime craft collides with another ship, an obstacle, or runs aground, the consequences will be dire. In the moments leading up to the crash, a series of unfortunate circumstances or errors occur. Navigation errors, miscommunication, adverse weather conditions, equipment failures, or human error all contribute to the occurrence of a brutal ship crash. Regardless of the specific cause, the impact is often sudden and violent, creating a scene of unimaginable destruction. Check out this incredibly tense footage of an extremely dangerous construction site accident. Luckily, this guy wasn't hurt, but it could have ended up pretty bad. God bless him. A tranquil landscape of North Jersey was abruptly transformed as torrential rainfall unleashed a deluge. 
triggering a devastating flash flood that sent dealership cars careening downstream. The powerful floodwaters overwhelmed the area, sweeping away vehicles in its relentless grip. Walls crumbled, roofs caved in, and floors gave way under the immense pressure of the tremors. Those are unforgettable images to the whole world in the early 2023 Turkey earthquake. A deadly landslide tore through a peaceful village nestled amidst the picturesque landscapes of Peru, leaving behind a scene of unimaginable destruction. The village, once a bustling community, now resembles a desolate wasteland marked by the somber silence of loss. Heavy rain here forces thousands to evacuate as deluge causes flooding and landslides. Those are the catastrophic failures that humanity has to completely submit to the power of nature. Shenzhen located in southeastern China, is a vibrant city known for its rapid urban development and economic prowess. These buildings in Shenzhen, China, were proven to be hastily and shoddily built after many collapse events. It's called Tofu Project. Shenzhen has been described as an instant city due to how fast it was constructed. The problem of Tofu Dreg Project may be much more far-reaching than currently known. Powerful tsunami has struck a port town in Japan, leaving behind a scene of unimaginable destruction. The disaster unfolded with the sudden and forceful displacement of massive volumes of water, triggered by a seismic event. Buildings were ripped from their foundations, swept away by the raging waters, while vehicles and debris were tossed around like insignificant toys. Earthquakes are one of the typical rampages of Mother Nature. Now watching how she responds to the humans of the world with these horrifying scenes. So terrible. Hailstones contain these solid balls and range in size from small pellets to large, destructive hailstones several inches in diameter. The hailstones fall from the sky during a storm pummel and dent vehicles, shatter windows and damage roofs, sidings and outdoor structures. If it wasn't caught on camera, would you believe this? Tenerife is the largest of the Canary Islands, which is part of Spain's dominion. 12-meter high waves smash balconies at seafront hotels and cause flash flooding due to a storm that blew toward mainland Spain. In 
in the island of Tenerife, heavy rains flooded homes, downed trees, shut down some roads and created landslides. The La Conchita landslide was triggered by heavy rainfall, which saturated the soil and destabilized the steep slopes overlooking the town. The area had a history of landslides due to its geological composition, with layers of clay and silt prone to sliding under certain conditions. A river of mud buried hundreds of vehicles and damaged homes. 48 hours after the mudslides, a major trucking route is still closed. Update video of the Chandigarh Manali Highway has been brought to a standstill due to a flash flood near Out in Mandi. The force of nature has unleashed its fury, causing havoc and disrupting the flow of traffic in this picturesque region. The sudden and torrential downpour has triggered landslides and swollen rivers, resulting in the overflow of water onto the highway. Indeed, Mother Nature has run out of patience with humans. only landslide and flash floods, she also pulls tornadoes and other disasters to remind. These swirling vortexes of wind seem to defy the laws of nature as they twist and churn with a force that's both awe-inspiring and frightening. The sheer speed at which they move, accompanied by their characteristic funnel shape that transforms a calm landscape into a chaotic battleground in a matter of seconds. Debris dances in the air as these monstrous twisters tear through anything in their path. This is a tornado that blows through a warehouse in California. <laughs> Tropical storm Pabuk hits northern Thailand causing widespread devastation and damaging thousands of homes. Heavy rain and winds of up to 70 miles per hour lashed Chiang Mai and other northern regions after temperatures reached 40 degrees centigrade, followed by intense downpours. Severe tropical storms hit some 35 villages in the afternoon, damaging more than 1,000 homes and up to 10,000 more in different provinces. Funny video captured in the city of Luo in Henan province on September 20th shows two men running after an inflatable moon rolling down a road by strong winds. The inflatable moon was made by a property sales center for the mid Orson festival. Beachgoers were amazed when this huge water spout appeared off the coast of Koh Rong Island in Cambodia. The swirling vortex emerged as people paddled in the ocean and sunbathed on the beach in Sayanukville province. Thank you for watching the video. If you feel it's good, please feel free to click the subscribe button to receive more interesting videos. See ya.